Three million years from Earth, the mining ship Red Dwarf. Its crew, Dave Lister, the last human being alive. Christine Kachansky, his ex-girlfriend from a parallel universe. A creature who evolved from his cat. And Arnold Rimmer, a hologram of his ex-bunkmate. Plus me, Holly, the ship's computer, who once had an IQ of 6,000. The same IQ as 6,000 White House interns. Additional. The human race is doomed. Extinction beckons. You are all destined for oblivion. But on the bright side, no more Police Academy sequels. For this and other glimpses into your future, watch Red Dwarf, now airing on your local public television station. This is a distress signal. I'm very distressed. You can probably tell. I'm almost hysterical as it happens. Why? Because television costs money. Look at me. This haircut wasn't cheap. Then there's the cost of vacuuming cyberspace. It all adds up. Which is where you come in. Time for you to pledge as much as you can. Pledge money like it was going out of fashion. Which incidentally, it is. And help keep Red Dwarf on your local public television station. You did it. You pledge your support to your local public television station. Frankly, I haven't been this impressed since my collection of singing potatoes formed a close harmony quartet. But remember, mail your cheque. Television stations need your money to continue to bring you Red Dwarf. Plus, if you don't mail your cheque, you'll be a git. And let's face it, neither of us wants that. My goodness, it works. We have established a video link to the distant past. So? It's not like we can expect the people we're broadcasting to to understand a word we say. You mean because they're a primitive people from the late 20th century? No, I mean because they're Americans. Remember? They're intelligent, discerning Americans. Tuned into their local public television station. <laughs> Hello, America! I really like your flag! Those 64 little stars... <laughs> you... Oh, they haven't bought Europe yet. Oh. What is the point of speaking to them? They're extinct. Lister's the last human. And he won't last long if he keeps drinking the urine recyc. Look, we're contacting them to warn them, you gimboid. Earth, this is the crew of the Jupiter Mining Corporation vessel Red Dwarf telling you to stop polluting your planet, put an end to military conflict, and, um, um, Always um... exfoliate before you go to bed. Yeah, thanks, Chris. Oh, yeah, and keep watching us on your local public TV station. Uh, uh, sir, this connection is going to end in just a few seconds. OK, OK, OK. Have you got all that? End war. Look after your skin. Watch Red Dwarf. Oh, and while you're at it, when you bury those time capsules, can you stop filling them with Leonardo da Vinci sketches and presidential speeches and just bung in some prawn vindaloo? I need something to look forward to when I get back to Earth. And hair gel! Bury some hair gel! Crikey, have you ever thought about infinite universes? About the possibility that somewhere out there in infinity there's a dimension with, with people in it? Well, it's theoretically probable, sir. What, people who can watch us on their local public television station? They're statistically likely. People who enjoy watching me try to chat up Christine Kajansky, who look forward to seeing a species descended directly from the ship's cat. Hard to refute. People who actually admire Rimmer. <laughs> <laughs> no. Now you're just being silly, sir. Yeah. Sorry, Crichton. All right, Crichton. Quote them Space Corps Directive 723. Uh, terraformers are expressly forbidden from recreating Cleveland? Uh, no. No, I mean Space Corps Directive 592, obviously. Ah, yes. In an emergency situation involving two or more officers of equal rank, seniority will be granted to whichever officer can program a VCR. Crichton? Are you trying to make me look like an idiot? Uh, no, sir, uh, but if you'd like some competition... Space Corps Directive 572-436-821-7968-B. <clears throat> At all times, show your allegiance to Red Dwarf in the US by picking up your phone and calling your local public television station with your pledge. You just made that up, sir. Shut up, Jordan. Network systems. Check. Navigation beacons. Check. Fission units. Check. All systems functioning normally. Check. You can be very irritating, Crichton. Check. Crichton, shut up. Check. That's too many checks. No such thing, Mr. Rimmer, sir. 
So far, so good. But your local public television station needs all the checks it can get. So open communications channels to our studio right now and pledge the financial support which will keep Red Dwarf on air in your hometown. That includes you, sir. Sadly, Crichton, I'm a hologram and thus unable to write out checks. Only since becoming a hologram? <laughs> Mr. Lister says you used to write them out so rarely that your checkbook is still made out of parchment. <laughs> Have I mentioned how irritating I find your voice? Pick up that phone and pledge. Picking up something on long-range scans appears to be a shower of meteor or pledges. Pledge shower? Is that dangerous? Oh, possibly. If the pledges aren't fulfilled, our power levels will be affected. We'll lose momentum and quite possibly crash into oblivion forever. So what are the options? One, we go down without a fight. Two, we sell Rimmer into Gelf slavery. Or three, we tell our public television viewers to fulfil their pledges. Can I hit two again? Mail those checks. Support your public television station. Don't just do it for me. Do it for Rimmer. You sure I can't hit two again? Hey! You got taste. You got style, dude. You're sharp with a capital char. You're looking cooler than a polar bear sipping a martini. You're more stylish than a designer label sewn into a designer label. Holy cow! If you looked any better, I'd have made it with you by now. <clears throat> what are you doing? Just spending some quality time with someone I adore. A mirror? I prefer to think of it as the friend who never asked you to babysit. Hey! <laughs> and talking of friends, your local public television station needs all the help it can get, so support it! And support Red Dwarf! Yow! Pledge! Oh. You think that was cool? Wait till you see Red Dwarf. <laughs> Hello. Mr. Rimmer has gone off to pull rank on the chocolate vending machine, leaving me here with a very important task. He said I must work myself into a frenzy of rage with all of you who are still watching but haven't pledged yet. So, here goes. God darn it! Don't leave it up to the other people! Yes, you! Pick up the crude communication device and pledge your support! Red Dwarf is on your local public television station, commercial free because of fan support. So be a fan and call now. It'll make all those lovely people in the studio so very happy. Thank you. And apologies for any distress my display of uncensored raw emotion may have caused. Do you think I like being stuck in this dimension? On a ship with a crew who are constantly leaving the toilet seat up? With a man who puts empty milk cartons back in the fridge and plays entire Led Zeppelin albums on his armpit. A ship where I'm denied even the most basic staples of life, like a garlic press or a cappuccino maker. It's inhuman. But don't just take my word for it. See for yourself. Watch Red Dwarf right here on your public television station. This is your station for Red Dwarf. Iowa Public Television. Iowa Public Television. Arkansas Educational Television Network. Prairie Public TV. Maine Public Television. Always been my favorite. Maryland Public Television. WTBU. WPBT. KAKM. KTCA. KCTS. KOCE. Louisiana Public Television. I love crawfish. KLRU. WIWL Champaign Urbana. Don't you just love those bubbles? K A E T K R M A K E T C W H Y Y Philadelphia. That's the one. Why Philadelphia? I don't know, sir. This is your station for Red Dwarf. W C N Y Syracuse. This is your station for Red Dwarf. W G B Y Springfield. Lovely. Isn't that where Bart Simpson was? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. We like Bart Simpson. We like Bart. Hi, Bart. This is your station for Red Dwarf, North Carolina Public Television. You lucky people. Grand Rapids, Kalamazoo. Where's that then? 
W.F.W.A. Fort Wayne. Fort Wayne. John Wayne. Action. W.N. This is your station for Red Dwarf. This is your station for Red Dwarf. One at a time, is it? Yeah. No, all this is together. These two are together. together. Oh, these are your stations. These, oh, are, these are your stations. Oh, yeah, hello. Let's do that. Hello. Yeah. Hey, 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 Dan. Hey. Who's on uh, the case? Hello? Dan. Am I the only one here? Hey, Mr. Sharp. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Razor Sharp. Am I the only one? <laughs> He's not only sharp in plasticine. <laughs> That was worth every We're mistake I'll ever make in Red Dwarf in my whole life. These are, these oh, I don't know about that, Dan. I don't know about that, Dan. I think, I think you're overvaluing that a bit, mate. <laughs>